Hello, welcome back. Last time we ascended the Cave of Trials and now we're here in the magic city of Vane. Come to talk to Galleon. On the left is the Silver Spire, on the right the Crystal Tower. Entry into either building is allowed only with the permission of the Magic Guild. Welcome to Vane. This magnificent structure is the Magic Guild. The Guild is the heart of the magical force that binds all of Vane's people together. Neat. Move it! Get out of the way! I overslept again, and if I'm late to one more class, I'll be held back a year. Well, that's where I'm supposed to go, obviously. Hey kids, see the crystal tower over there? I hear the Magic Guild holds secret rituals inside it. Cool, huh? That other building is the Silver Spire. No one seems to know what it's for except the highest ranking members of the guild. Spooky, huh? You don't know why Vane circles around Althena's tower. It is because Vane has a duty to protect the goddess from harm. I thought I'd get dizzy up here, but I feel okay. I repeat, Vane circles Althena's tower to protect her from harm. Got it this time? Mm, really much. Got a library. Mia Alsa is the only daughter of Lamia Alsa, leader of the guild. She's quiet and shy, but also very graceful and beautiful. She has no lack of suitors. I hope we get to meet this girl soon, Alex. Me too. Alex, don't forget the reason we came to Vane. Have you yet visited our magic library? I think it's even more magnificent than the guild. Maybe they have some books about dragons, Alex. Dragon magic is perhaps the most powerful magic of all. But it can be used only by the one who proves worthy of protecting the goddess. You can read this book a hundred times over. You can study the history of magic for decades. But unless and until you use magic in a combat situation, you'll never know the true extent of your skill. The Dragon Master is granted the use of the Dragon Armor, which is imbued with special magic. Only a skilled Dragon Master has the ability to call upon that magic. Okay, so... Special power for being the hero. Our head librarian estimated that it would take a hundred years to read every book in the library. But I'm told that Galleon has read almost all of them. Don't ask me how, but he did. Alex would fall asleep after three pages. Ha ha ha. Jeez. Not leave little faith. Sorry. That one's got nothing rip off. Thane serves as both a place of magic and an airborne guardian of the goddess Salthina. Of course, the day will never come when the home of the goddess is besieged by evil. Never say never. No mere human is allowed to enter Althena's tower and gaze upon the goddess herself. That honor is reserved exclusively for the Dragon Master. A small number of magicians believe that Althena has entered into a sleep of sorts, but are unsure as to when or if she will reawaken. Alex, someone hid Bunny in this book. Score! Ten silver. Sweet. Magic is the stuff that created our world, and which holds it together. There must also be magic in the sea and the sky. Name any Dragon Master and you can hear a hundred different tales of their incredible adventures. Leon, the mighty Gale, who fought his foes with the blinding force of a hurricane. Gaul, the Iron Hand, who could fell the largest man with a single swing of his granite fists. Alicia and Letitia, twin sisters who proved that two is better than one. Nato, the singing swordsman, who often burst into song while decimating his enemies. <laughs> Any book that doesn't mention dying right away isn't worth reading, right, Alex? Narrow-minded, Gnaw. 
The mysterious disappearance and presumed death of Dragon Master Dine occurred 15 years ago. But the countless theories and endless speculation about what really happened continues unabated. The last person seen with Dine, Master Galleon, refuses to speak about the Dragon Master. Some think it is out of respect of for his fallen friend. Others believe Galleon has something to hide. Find out tonight on Unsolved Mysteries. The same spell cast by two magicians will have a slightly different appearance and effect. Magic is as unique to each person as his face or his fingerprints. We have yet to understand why the blue star always shows us the same face. I don't get it either. Oh no, I don't think you would. If magic is the flesh of our world, the goddess Althena is its soul. It is the goddess who created this world in which we live. These libraries are always so much fun for, like, lore world building stuff. The power of magic is never to be underestimated, and never to be abused. In the hands of an expert, magic is far deadlier than the mightiest sword. Full of wisdom, too. The goddess Althena is blessed with the gift of immortality. Forever will she protect, guide, and cherish us. Intermediate Magic Spells 3. Controlling Flame. The Vile Tribe was a band of foul creatures which knew only of hate and destruction. I question the author. Who is the author of this? Why did you write it? And some big absolutisms. Without the intervention of the goddess, they would have had their wicked way with our world. Check your biases, author. When our world was newborn, an evil force called the Vile Tribe tried to conquer it. They were banished by the goddess to the faraway frontier at the edge of our world. The Vile Tribe has not been seen since, leading many to conclude that they have died out. Just... Did they die out, or are they the, they're the Boogeyman? Beginner's Guide to Magic Volume 3, The Spirit of the Sky, by Norman Greenbaum. Dragon magic is the ultimate combination of heart, mind, and soul. To witness dragon magic is to witness a sorcery with strength equal to the goddess herself. Beginner's Guide to Magic Volume 1, The Spirit of Fire. From Capcom. A Beginner's Guide to Magic Volume 2, The Spirit of Water. Got nothing quippy for that. We owe our health, our wealth, and our very existence to the goddess. She cannot be praised enough. Once again, who wrote that and why? The Dragon Master utilizes the power of his own magic and of the dragons to protect the goddess from harm and to maintain peace in our world. He is the ambassador of all humanity. Intermediate Magic Spells Volume 8. Goodbye to Grass Stains. Now that's practical. At the edge of this world is a region where the blue star is never shown and where the touch of the goddess has never been felt. Scary. Althena's tower is where the goddess makes her home in our world. She looks upon her children and smiles down at us. Overconfidence is the greatest enemy of a student of magic. Attempting to cast a spell without completely understanding it inevitably leads to disaster. As they embraced, Jane's heaving bosom pressed firmly against John's manhood. John's hands worked their way to the petals of Jane's sweet rose as... Alex, I think somebody filed this in the wrong library. <laughs> Working designs. When the goddess shaped our planet, not even her enormous power could reach the distant frontier. And so it remained a wasteland, even as the world around it blossomed forth with new life. I go down this aisle. Hey, a dude. Oh man, this book is great. It says that the Dragon Master commands the power of four enormous dragons. 
You become the Dragon Master by entering each dragon's cave and passing their trials. But the catch is that no one knows where the dragons are. Good way to screen out the pretenders, huh? I guess that means you're a contender, Alex. If magic disappeared from our world, it would become a place of chaos and death. According to legend, we once lived on the Blue Star, but no one knows how or why we now live in this world. I wonder if that's why I feel so strange when I look at the Blue Star. One popular folk remedy for a headache is to paste a fillet of pickled fish onto one's forehead. While repeatedly chanting, I am the Eggman, I am the Walrus, Goo Goo Kachug. Perhaps unsurprisingly, this does not work. Yep, they put a Beatles reference in. That's great. Ride a broom in three days. Guaranteed to work or you'll suffer an incredibly painful fall. Welcome to the Guild Library. We have books on every aspect of magic and every subject known to mankind. Unfortunately, with all the new volumes we've received, it's hard to keep track of them all. Do you children need work? I'm always looking for alphabetizers. I bet they have all kinds of neat stuff in here, Alex, but where do we start? Beginner's Guide to Magic Volume 4, Hangover Remedies, yet another useful one. The world was a dead star until it was touched by the goddess. Where there was darkness, she brought light, and where there was death, she brought life. The frontier is a sprawling wasteland on the outskirts of our world. No one brave or foolish enough to venture for into the frontier has ever returned. Vain is the place in which our knowledge of the magical arts is kept, and in which that knowledge is taught to each new generation of mages and priests. Okay, neat. There's the lore of Vain and most of the lore of the world. Have you heard of Black Rose Street? It's the most famous section in Moribia. It's the home of many graduates and, uh, business associates of the Magic Guild. Just about all of the items sold there are actually made here in vain. Here at Vane's Weapon Shop, you can purchase weapons that have been magically reinforced. Get that, equip that. Sell the broadsword that's wide and wicked. Thank you very much. Come again. this. Hello, are you from the latest batch of students of the Magic Guild? How can I help you? Oh, it's super, super expensive charms that I can't afford. And starlights and such. Oh, bye-bye. But did you see those things? One day normal item store due to talk to experiments with magic have taken place here at the guild from the moment construction was complete only by testing our theories about the magical arts can our knowledge of them be expanded the magic guild attracts students of sorcery from all over the world Lan, Moribia, Tamur, you name it what you're from Berg what's next inbred mental midgets from Muriad hey that sounded like some kind of cheap shot, was it? Throw yourself into your studies. I mean, why would you want to go back to Berg? 
two of the four heroes, Lamia Alsa and the Master Galleon, are residents of the Magic Guild. We've never had trouble attracting new recruits to the ranks of the Guild with them on staff. Alex, you admire them almost as much as Dine, don't you? Hey, I just realized that we're going to meet two of your heroes in one day. My armor isn't just tough, it's magically reinforced for your perfection. Oh, it's got magic endurance on it. <laughs> magically delicious. It has no magic endurance on it. That's lame. shield. Thanks a bunch, kids. When you have more money to spend, drop it here. So you kids want to meet Lamia and Callion too? I could tell you you were groupies. Ah, uh, hey. Uh, there we go. It's the door to the Lindblom Inn all over again. Hey, you kids. You little brats hijacked my magic wand, didn't ya? I've had that thing since I was two years old, and if I don't get it back, you're all gonna get a spanking. Same thing. All dragon masters are masters of magic, but Dine was the best of the best. His spells were as dangerous as his sword. He was a total hunk. I heard that Galleon was one of Dragon Master Dine's best friends. Now he works for Lamia as the premier of Vane, experimenting with magic and helping Lamia run the city. Dear Diary, I tried again today to tell my husband about my affair with the Milkman and the Garbage Man and the Magic Hill Junior Varsity Debate Squad, but I just didn't have the heart. Uh, Alex, maybe we should put this back. Let's play Magic Warriors. Here comes my thunder spell. Zap! You got me! I'm hit! That's where I came up. Hi! Where did you come from? I came from the village of Lan. My parents said I have a talent for magic, so they brought me here to study at the guild. But I miss my friends. I don't want to study. I want to go home. Galleon and Lamia started learning magic when they were children, and look at where they are today. That's what I want for my boy, and that's why he's here. He's going to make Galleon look like the spellcasting hack he is. Sure, buddy. Sure. We moved here from land so my kid could take classes at the Magic Guild. He's going to achieve what we never could. Perhaps he'll be as important as Galleon. My brother and I are the best magicians in land. Yeah, huh? That's why our parents moved here. But all the kids at the guild are good at magic too. I don't like not being the best. So I have to study all day and night to make sure I'm better than everyone else. Don't forget that you're still a child. You need to go outside and play once in a while. Welcome to the Magic City of Vane, home of the Magic Guild and heart of the world. Okay, that warps down. Another house. More walls for me to walk into. Hey, I bet you've heard of the Magic Emperor, haven't you? He's the bad man in charge of the Vile Tribe. I'm gonna punch him in the head until he's my friend. Bam! Pow! Whack! He's a feisty one, Alex. Just like you were. I read 
that all out of order. I've heard all these stories about the Vile Tribe, but I'm not worried. Why? Because the goddess Althena will protect us always. Yeah, I've been hearing all about this here Vile Tribe. But ain't Althena supposed to vanish them buggers when she came to our world? Don't know why the rest of the family doesn't have a country accent, but they don't. Just roll with it. Sorry. Hello, Alex. I'm glad you finally made it. What do you think of Vane? Breathtaking, isn't it? Galleon is occupied at the moment, so I'll escort you to the parlor. Actually, we'd rather look around the Magic Guild, wouldn't we, Alex? Actually, yes. Alright then, suit yourselves. Luna, would you also care to wander the Guild's halls? Perhaps later, but right now, sitting down and getting off my feet sounds wonderful. Then I'll just have to give you a private tour of the Magic Guild sometime, Luna. Alex, come on upstairs whenever you're ready to meet with Galleon. Alex, this place is huge. I hope we don't get lost. I'll come for you when Galleon is ready. If you need anything in the meantime, Luna, just please let me know. Thank you, Nash. I will. instrument, not a woodwind. Probably. Um, you play beautifully, sir. But may I ask how you came to learn that melody? Dine composed that melody when he was a boy, before he became the Dragon Master. Dragon Master Dine wrote that? Alex never told me. Why am I always the last person to know these things? Now, now. I'm certain this Alex probably was just unaware of the piece. No need to get unnecessarily upset. It doesn't become you. You must be a new student here at the guild. And quite a fetching one at that. Luna needs an adult. What? Oh no! I don't have any magic abilities. I've traveled here with Alex. He's on a quest to become the Dragon Master. We already met Quark, the White Dragon. And we're here to learn the locations of the other three. What about you? Perhaps you're on a quest of your own. You may not even realize what you're searching for. At least not yet. Oh no, I'm not. Except she totally is. Wait. 
the dream. Hmm. I keep having the same dream. But it doesn't quite feel like a dream. And it doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't mean to ramble on with someone I just met. Don't apologize. Everyone wants to understand themselves and to know who they are. But not everyone is prepared for what they ultimately discover. Uh, I... Are you prepared for your journey of discovery? I... I think I need to sit down. I feel weak. Where should we go first, Alex? Man, this is the cushiest assignment of the guild. Lamia holds meetings about as often as I get breaks. Which is to say, never. This is the Grand Hall of the Magic Guild. The future of Vayne is decided within these walls. Special guests of the guild are also greeted here. So not us, but we can crash some classes. You're friends of Nash? I'm sure he's told you about his crush on Mia Alsa. But he doesn't have a chance. Mia is the next guildmaster, and Nash is just a struggling student. He has to get his head out of the clouds and focus on reality, like passing next week's exam. Your words are like music to my ears. <laughs> Please don't disturb me. I have to concentrate on my studies. If my grades improve, Perhaps I'll be recognized by Galleon, too. The students in this class were chosen by an elite committee which included Master Galleon himself. The strongest wizards of tomorrow are being molded here today. Ah. You? Become a Dragon Master? That could be the funniest thing I've ever heard. Only a person with a proper education could become the Dragon Master, country boy. Alex doesn't need education. He has skill. And heart. And hookspa. Settle down, children. I have to take attendance. Excuse me, you must be looking for another classroom. Although you certainly aren't properly dressed for school. What? You aren't students? Then why are you interrupting me and disturbing my class? I bet this teacher's so evil that her students bring her puppies to eat instead of apples. That's a little extreme of a reaction out of Null. Like, wonder what the original translation said. Pack off, children. The Silver Spire is off limits until further notice. Okay, backing off. Going. This is the dungeon of the guild. It used to be reserved for nefarious criminals whose reckless behavior had endangered the people of Vane. But in recent days, it has become populated with people whose crimes are dubious at best. What can I do? If I protest, I'll be thrown into jail along with the rest of them. What was my crime? I made the mistake of asking Lamia Alsa why she's been acting so strangely. I consider Lamia a good friend. Now I consider her a righteous bitch. Anyone who disobeys the orders of our guildmaster will be swiftly imprisoned within this dungeon. I've been ordered by Lamia to pay special attention to this prisoner. So back off before I throw you in a cell of your own. Alex, I highly doubt we're going to find an unlocked gate in the dungeon. Have you heard the rumor that the goddess Althena no longer lives in her tower? I was discussing it with a friend when Lamia overheard me, and I was sentenced to 20 years down here. I've never felt hatred for anyone the way I feel it for her. Oh, and there's a convenient empty cell. I'm certain we won't ever end up here or anything. These are Mia's private quarters. No visitors allowed. 
At least, that's what Lamia ordered. But why don't you kids go inside and say hello? I think she could use the company right now. Wow, he might be an awful guard, but he's a pretty nice guy. Let's just go into this girl's room uninvited then. Who's, who's there? Totally invited guests are here. We're to save on animation frames by having her cover her mouth for most of it. Oh, I hope I haven't asked you anything too personal. It's just that it's been so long since I met someone who wasn't in the Magic Guild. So hopefully you'll forgive my curiosity. I'm Nal. This is Alex. Sorry about barging in. We came here to talk to Galleon, who's gonna tell us where to find the dragons. He couldn't talk to us right away, so we decided to explore the guild. And that's when we found you. You're looking for the dragons? How exciting. It is, but we've only found the white dragon so far. Hey, why don't you come along with us? I know you'd have a lot of fun. An adventure? Me? No, I... I'm sorry. It's not permitted, I'm afraid. You can't? Ah, oh, well, I had to ask. I mean, what adventurers wouldn't want a beautiful girl by their side? Tee <laughs> Thank you, Nal. I'm flattered. Wow, you're even cuter with a smile on your face. Isn't she, Alex? Oh, stop it. Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing in here? How dare you enter Mia's room without permission? Who do you think she is? You're not allowed to speak to her, much less violate the sanctity of her bedchamber. Mia is the daughter of Lamia and the future leader of the Magic Guild. Nash, these people aren't... I apologize for this, Mia. I should never have let these slovenly hicks wander around the guild unsupervised. I take full responsibility for this invasion of your privacy, and I beg for your forgiveness. Nash, will you please? Galleon will see you now. Come, quickly. Bye, Mia. Take care. Do I have to spell it out for you two? Quickly. Crystal Tower and the Star Shrine are the two most sacred places in all of Vane. Absolutely no one is allowed inside the tower without permission from Lamia Alsa herself. Besides, don't you kids have classes to attend? Truancy is the fastest way to be expelled from the guild. But we're not students, we're tourists. He can't conceptualize tourists here. Save early, save often, I guess. It's... You didn't hear this from me, but Lamia is acting like a complete freak lately. I think she should step aside and allow Galleon to run things until her mental condition is cured. I agree. A vacation is exactly what she needs. 
With Galleon as our leader, she might even decide on a permanent vacation. Mia is in line to be the next guild master, but she just doesn't have the qualities of leadership. Many members of the council are worried that we wouldn't be able to rely on her in a crisis. Mia will become the best guild master of all. I guarantee it. Mia used to reserve the dungeon for the hardest criminals and most heinous crimes, but now I wouldn't be surprised if she threw her own daughter into the prison for not cleaning her room. I, I'm sure there's a good reason for her behavior. Alex, where were you? Galleon's been waiting for several minutes. They wandered into places where they most definitely should not have been, Luna. We made friends with a girl named Mia. We'll introduce you to her if you like. Of course, Nal. You know I love meeting new people. Why don't you people focus your attention on the business at hand? You've been granted an audience with Galleon, the great sage of the Magic Guild. Why don't you meet him first? <laughs> I love Nal. Nash's sass. Master Galleon, these are the adventurers I mentioned to you earlier. Alex, Luna, and Nall. It's him. I love this scene. Welcome to the Magic Guild of Vane, Alex of Berg. I am Galleon, premier of the guild. My apprentice Nash speaks quite highly of you, boy. He said you passed the trial of the White Dragon. If that's true, perhaps you can help me. Does Alex need an adult? Nash has also said you seek to become the next Dragon Master, boy. Looking at your frail form, I frankly cannot imagine it. What do you mean? Alex is more than strong enough. But I can sense the magical ability lurking within you, and within Luna as well. Why don't you give up your misguided quest for the dragons? You are far better suited to taking up the study of magic here at the guild. It might not be as exciting as roaming the land, but you shall certainly live longer. I'm not going to quit. That's a kind offer, Galleon, but I haven't spent my life dreaming of being a student. I've dreamt of being the next Dragon Master, and now I can realize those dreams. You certainly seem to have made up your mind. I applaud your determination. But I've heard rumors that a Dragon Master has already been born in the town of Lawn. I'd like you to investigate this Dragon Master for me and determine his legitimacy, or lack thereof. My steward will tell you the rest. Nash, you will go with Alex. Assist him any way you can. Yes, Master Galleon. When we met before, why didn't you tell me who you were? There was no need, Luna. Besides, it was a pleasure to speak to someone with an appreciation for my music. Someday, perhaps you'll allow me to hear yours. Talk to this dude. The guild has heard reports from Lan of a man claiming to be the Dragon Master. There have also been conflicting reports that the man possesses one of the dragons. Galleon requests that you travel to Lan with Nash to see if this man is who he claims to be. Okay, how do we get there? Guess we just wander. Go. The direction we can go. Alright. So that's a good stopping point. I want to thank you for joining us. If you've enjoyed what you've seen, please consider uh, subscribing to the Major Rage TV YouTube channel. I've got more than just Lunar here. I've got a Final Fantasy 1 Let's Play going. A complete Lunar... Or complete wild arms playthrough 
as well as Star Ocean the Second Story R, the remake of the PlayStation 1 cult classic. So, if any of that sounds like it's up your alley, this is the place for you. Like the video, share it to your friends, but most importantly, until the next time, take care and thanks for watching.